What's up all my inspirational tea sippers? This is Shantara and welcome back to my channel, you guys. I pray that you are well, doing amazing, feeling amazing. Holding on to hope and faith, you guys. I thought that was gonna be my last video, but the Lord brought me this last thing. This probably could have went, no, 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 no. This was something a little bit different. So yesterday, me and Deanna, Terriana was taking a nap so she didn't get to go. Um, me and Deanna went to the park, we took the kids to the park cash and tj right so we get to the park the park where i was recording my video you know nice cool park skate park or whatever kids chill blah 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 so when i pull up the kids the high school kids are getting out of school it's a high school right next to it so they getting out of school so the high schoolers when i pull up i see the high schoolers is all on the kids slide and stuff so i'm like okay lord as long as they move when we come you know what i'm saying because y'all big kids and all like this ain't you ain't this is for kids so as long as they move when we come, Father God, I'll be okay. You know what I'm saying? But if anything, these kids want to be in these kids' way and all that, the Lord ain't no ham, I'm going to say something. I ain't going to cuss you out, none of that. But I'm going to let you know where you're wrong at, right? And for me, I'm the type of person to where, like, there's been a few times where I've caught some kids trying to ditch school. And I'm the type of parent that'll drive up and be like, hey, get y'all asses down off that fence to go back, get back up to that school. Cause they literally hop back over. I remember one morning I was taking the kids to school, hop back over that fence. I said, get y'all asses down right now. Get y'all toes back over there across that way to that schoolhouse. They hurried up and hopped down off that gate and ran up over there that way. Or I see some kids trying to ditch or I seen a girl, uh, uh, one, a young girl and a little boy behind a damn building. Y'all over there fiddling and fondling and kissing and all that. And I said, where is your mother? Do your mama know you behind this building with this little boy? Girl, go so you know, get your ass and go home somewhere. Cause the next thing next, you're gonna end up pregnant and this boy ain't gonna be nowhere to be found. So bye. You know what I'm saying? I'm that type of person. And so I know sometimes my kids say it's embarrassing or whatever, but it takes a village. If anybody see my kids doing, I ain't telling these kids nothing wrong and I ain't approaching them in the wrong way. No, you need a rip. Go sit your ass down somewhere. Y'all get off this gate trying to sneak and creep and all that. Get back over there and go back to that schoolhouse. If your mama was right here, you wouldn't be doing it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm that type of person. So I know it could be a little bit embarrassing for the kids, especially for Tariana. She She's an introvert. And so we at the park. So when we pull up, the two kids, the boy and the girl that was on the uh, inside the little that slide, they ended up leaving when we came. It's for kids. So they playing or whatever. We go to the other side. So TJ and them, now they ready to come to the other side where the now group of high schoolers have come to, you know, smoke their little hookah or what, what um, vapes. Smoke their little vapes and they just, you know, grouped around. It's probably like, probably like 10 of them eight or ten of them just standing right there they sitting on top of the thing the slide or whatever so i'm like okay god i ain't gonna say nothing as long as they don't get in the way of him coming up and down the slit stairs it's like they cussing a little bit and just talking over there i ain't gonna say nothing i cuss in front of tj i slips and cuss in front of my kids piss me off get your ass in there get clean up because it's just picked up before i whoop your ass i don't have nothing to hide from nobody so it ain't like they don't hear me cuss they hear me cuss every now and again it ain't like i'm well i'm like a sailor but yes I'm going to get on that head. So that's nothing. They ain't being too overly disrespectful or whatever. So they plan, they plan, they plan or whatever. So one of the little boys, one of the little managed little boys up top, sitting on top, the one that's sitting on top of the slide and all that. Everybody else is just standing right there grouped on the side. This, you on top of the kid's slide and all that. You can tell it's always, it's always that one. And I'm the one that's going to bring it to you. Because if you that one, I'm that one. You know what I'm saying? I'm the one. I'm the one on the front line. So here we go. TJ come and getting ready to slide and the boy, I was going to say, girl, <laughs> talking to y'all like y'all my homegirls. Do y'all know this boy? <gasps> oh, little boy, watch out. I just, Like he missed TJ by a little freaking inch. I was, and TJ looking, autism, so he ain't really, really understanding what's going on. Not autism, special needs. And he like, he like I, I spit right there. I said, so you mean to tell me, you mean to tell me out of all of this space that you had right here, you're going to spit a big fat loogie right here in the midst of this boy on this play area where you see this boy playing, playing on this thing. Is, is that what you're telling me? Well, I didn't, I had to spit. Why didn't you spit outside of this thing why didn't you spit? I said, look at all the space and opportunity you have to spit why would you spit on the slide where you see my baby sliding 
And his friends was like, oh, hell no. Nah. I can't believe you did so much. Man, you a punk. Man, we better not ever see you do nothing like that. Like he, And then you could tell the look on his face like he was so ashamed. He turned red as a freaking tomato. And they was like, hell no. Nah. You in the wrong, cuz. You in the wrong for that. You ought to know better than that. And then he was like, he was like, apologize. You better apologize. You know, we ain't, we ain't with all that. Apologize. He was like, no, no, I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna I said, no. I don't want him to apologize. I said, because what he did just shows me. I said, I don't want his apology. I said, because what he did just shows me that he doesn't even respect himself. So if you don't respect yourself, how do I expect, how do I expect you to respect me or my child? I said, so that is okay. I don't want an apology. You can keep that. But you know better than that. That was disgusting. It was rude. And it was disrespectful. And it was uncalled for. Because mind you, we setting up. We called. Well, I've always been like this anyway. But we calling them out. You need a rip. You need a complete rip. His friends was like, hell no. They was like, we been not Aaron in the, um, one of the, um, the black boys. He was like, ma'am, on behalf of him. On the behalf of him, on the behalf of our friend, we just want to say we apologize. You know what I'm saying? We apologize for that and we just, we are so sorry that that happened. I said, baby, that's no problem. I said, that's no problem. I said, that's my sign for us to go. I said, and I want you guys to enjoy the rest of your day. You know what I'm saying? I said, and all I'm saying is do better. And they was like, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I was like, now God bless you guys. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy the rest of your evening. We're going to get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? And y'all continue to do what y'all do. Be safe or whatever. It was like, bye, bye. And, I, and then when we walked to the car, because Deanna was just like, she kind of like was walk, like walking off the cash or whatever. And I said, Deanna, I said, baby, am I embarrassing? <laughs> baby, because I don't give a damn. It takes a village. I'm going to let you know. You trying to sneak and creep and all that. I'm going to be get your ass off the gate. Go where your mama. Where's your mama? Where's your daddy? And if you ain't got one, you can come over here and get, get some of this love we got to give up over here. So I said, baby, I said, did I embarrass you? Because <laughs> I did. She's like, no. I said, what did, what did you think about that encounter? She said, I think it was really good. She said, I'm glad I saw it. She said, because the boy thought that his friends was going to take up. You know what I'm saying? Was going to take up for him. You thought your friends was going to take up for you. and It probably could have turned into something completely different, which it could have. You know what I'm saying? But because we're the righteousness of God and we're getting ready to flip this evil world and turn it upside down and get y'all to do what y'all need to do. And as demons go this way and righteousness go this way, we about our father's business. And she was like, you know, it just, it made me feel good. You know what I'm saying? Like they stood up. You know what I'm saying? They stood up for us and they didn't, you know, just go along with what he was doing, even though he was in the wrong. You know what I'm saying? So I'm guessing, I don't know what the point of the video is. He just brought it back to my memory. So I had to record it. So I'm guessing the point of this video is to stand up for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Stand up for yourself no matter what. You know what I'm saying? No matter what, no matter the situation, no matter the circumstances. If you know you got a good heart, if you know you have pure intentions and pure motives and you are, you know, assertively standing up for yourself and speaking up for yourself in the right way and you're not going all off the bat and all. Yes, I, my tone got different. It got stronger, but it was stern and it was direct. You know what I'm saying? You will have the victory each and every time. And the Bible says that the, the Luke 252, this is a Luke 52 type of favor. And Jesus increased in wisdom and, 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 and Jesus increased with wisdom and stature and found favor with God and man. So favor is going to saturate you when you know you're doing the right thing. Favor is going to saturate you. You will have favor with God and man. We have favor with God yesterday and we have favor with man, which are the other boys that was in that group. So it's a Luke 252 type of anointing going on around here where he will increase you in wisdom and in stature. That means you're going to stand up and hold your stature is a salute. It's a it's a it's a uphold. It's an uphold. You standing upright. You holding yourself upright. You know what I'm saying? You walking upright. You knowing. You stern. It's a pillar. It's an upholding. You upholding that word, that truth. You upholding what's right. And this is a Luke 2, 52 type of anointing that's going on. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and found favor with God and man. Get your favor so that God can get the glory. So until the next time, Inspire. Be inspired. I love you guys. God bless you.